Hi, in today's tech tip video, we'll take a look at how to use the save bodies command in order to save multiple bodies into a assembly and out into individual parts. Now in this example, I already have a multi-body part and it is the puzzle cube we created in the last video. In this video, I'm wanting to create a separate part file for each of these bodies and then arrange them inside of an assembly. One way we can do this is to the save bodies command. The save bodies command is found if you right click on the solid bodies folder. There's an option there for save bodies. Once you initiate the command, you'll be prompted to assign file names to the multi-body parts. So here I went ahead and assigned names to all of my bodies. There's an option here to create an assembly. So I go ahead and assign a file name for that assembly and directory for that. From there, just click the green check mark, click OK, and it's going to create them. Now if I can take a look here, the assembly has been created, and inside the assembly all the components are uh, aligned and fixed. If I open one of these components up, you can see that the feature tree has a uh, one feature in there called stock working file. This is to represent the feature that it took to create that PAR file. You'll see the exact same thing in the uh, original part file that you're working with and there's a feature in there called save bodies. Save bodies is kind of like a timestamp so whatever happened before you use the save bodies command will propagate all the way to the um, assembly and the individual parts that you exported. Now if you create a cut like I'm doing here, a cut extrude, the cut extrude happens after the save body so you don't see it propagate to the assembly and the parts. But if I reorder my feature so that the cut extrude happens before the save bodies was published, then you'll see that the cut extrude does in fact occur for my assembly as well as my individual parts. Another thing to note here is that after I've created the cut extrude to happen before the save of bodies, you'll see that there's a missing piece in the assembly. Now if we did some investigative work, we'll find out that the missing piece is expected because the cut extrude created additional bodies. In my original multi-part file, I started off with five bodies, and now I end up with eight bodies. And that's because the cut extrude created additional bodies. So if I were to go and hide those bodies inside the solid bodies folder, you'll see that it looks exactly like the assembly. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete the cut extrude that we created here. And you'll see once I remove that cut extrude from the multi-body file, uh, the original file, then you'll see that the changes also occurred for the assembly as well as the part file. Now the last thing I do here is create an exploded view. And to create an exploded view, you just come over to the configuration manager. And then it's as simple as clicking, dragging the handles, and then pressing the done button in the property manager and then you'll repeat this process for the, all of your other components. And each of these components moved will create a step. Thanks for watching this tech tip. Please stay tuned for more.